Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Endgame Zig. This will be episode number 3 and it's coming out on a Saturday so I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Saturday so far. Uh, short little intro, let's dive into it. Alrighty guys, so to start off this video I decided that I am going to go and get 70 agility. Um, I've really had it sitting like a few levels away for a while now and I figured it's about time that I actually started that grind. Um, now that I have that, I don't have to boost every time that I use the Tavity Dungeon shortcut for Cerberus, and I also have access to the Ceridolin God Wars dungeon. So, I have boss tasks to unlock, and I'm hoping I can get a Sarah task because that would be pretty sweet. I've never really did a whole lot of Sarah, so being able to experience a bit of Ceridolin would be pretty nice. Um, I also decided that since I'm 32 marks of grace here and I only need one more piece for the full graceful outfit I might as well just keep doing agility until I get a couple more marks of grace and that would allow me to get the boots so as you can see here we have 40 marks of grace and we have one thing left to do and that's run over to the rogues dungeon to meet up with um, I'm not entirely sure what the person's name is grace or something like that let's see yeah, it is Grace, okay, to get the full Graceful outfit. Probably not going to really recolor it, but the boots have been achieved, boys. So that's going to give us a little bit of uh, negative weight, plus that run energy bonus. Well, let's get it. So as some of you guys may know, uh, I have been doing a lot of raids recently, and I've been kind of on a streak from getting deck scrolls, but as you can see in this clip here, I did not get a deck scroll, boys. I pulled the Twisted Buffer, and uh, kind of wish I got the deck scroll on that one, but you know, decent little split. I think it was 3 4 mil each, so can't really complain. We did get the Twisted B. Well, guys, you heard me say it in the last video, and I decided I am going to try and train some Herblore at least. Uh, haven't blown full set on it necessarily, but we did get a few levels, so as you can see, coming in right here. We hit 73 herbivore, so really a bit closer to that 78, I think that's 5 more levels to go, we'll get it shortly. So I had to change it up a little bit and I just had to do a bit of bandos, so coming in here if I get this kill we should see, uh, I think it's 200 KC and I'm also nearing an HP level, so hopefully I get a drop for 200 KC. And room longsword, okay. It's alright, we'll take it. 98 hit points coming in there. One more level to go, boys, until we get that cape. And we get a trim cape, actually, because I just got 99 range not too long ago. So I decided to change it up a little bit here, and I went out and got uh, a 67 thieving. So I personally don't really do too much thieving, but I know I need like 90 something I think for one of the diaries so I'm gonna try and grind out a little bit of that while I can you know thieving is kind of a real grindy skill like I, I don't really like it that much so it's really hard for me to go out and do it but if I can get a fair few amount of gains in before the nerf that would be more than ideal so you guys may remember from last video my one buddy um, that we do raids with he really 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 likes to get arcane prayer schools and as you can see in the chat here, he got another Arcane Prayer Scroll, but he also got the Omelette with the Arcane Prayer Scroll. So congratulations, bro. That is actually a super rare pet, so that's crazy. Uh, me, personally, I didn't really notice that we got it. Um, I just kind of noticed the Arcane, but damn, bro. That's that's super rare, and uh, you know, that's, that's sick ass, dude. It was actually uh, one of my buddies first raid, one of the new guys that we decided to bring along, so he might be your good luck charm man, I'm not sure, but congratulations again bro, it's actually sick, I was pumped that I was there, you know, it, it was a wild day boys, look at this guy here, he's got his fart cloud falling, not no more, we got the omelet, damn bro, that is a sick pet, congratulations, hello there, Hey, we got the primordial crystal. Hey, we broke the dry streak. I was about to say 157 kills done, 157 kills dry, but there is the primordial crystal to break the dry streak. And with one kill left on the task, let's go for that back to back. 
and 128 kills in the bag, and that is the task completed. Let's go to Steam and find out what we get for our next task. I'll pop back up with the Moto Crystal. Uh, hopefully the next task we can get another one, but at least now I am able to do so. And it really isn't too bad of a to do. So I decided to include a few tracking kills here. Um, haven't gotten a unique drop from it in over 400 kills, almost 500, but I can't really complain. I did get that from Morgan Crystal earlier, so that was pretty hard. Uh, this run is stored, we're not really going to talk about that, but even from without getting a unique drop, we still made a fair bit of money. And I think that the room drops that I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of those. Those probably paid for the Trident Treasures that I was using anyway, so I can't really complain. And it looks like we got roughly around a mil here from that trip, so we'll take it. Finish up the last few kills of the task here, so that's 352 tasks completed. And I have just under 1800 points. Still 375 kills to drive, but you know, it's, it's a very AFK boss as well, so. I'm personally not complaining, we're on to the next pass now, so let's see what we get. Ooh, a jab pass, okay, um, I haven't had a jab pass in a while, so I'm really pretty hype about that, maybe we can get the pet, you never know, we get uh, the two chances, the one from killing Jad, and the one from gambling the tape, since I already have three fire tapes in the bank, let's go boys. So that is the jet has completed, 11 KC now, and we are going to dash in this gate, have a fire KP here, bargain for the jet pet, you are not lucky, maybe next time. Well, I guess we'll try again next time, let's find out what the next task will be, and uh, hopefully we get something good, another boss task would be sweet, I, the jet task, you can't go wrong. Shout out to Mr. Leahy, that's a, that's a solid name, brother. Uh, 97 or 179 Greater Demons, okay, that's cannibal, I'll take it. Coming in here very shortly, should be 97 strength, there it is. Uh, 97 strength, two more levels to go, and then we will be 99. And we're getting pretty close, I think it'll be two levels, and maybe like, HP level will be a 99 combat. I think I'm at 99, it'll also be 98. Point eight or something, but we're really close to that uh, that more cape. 
the next cave, rather. And that's gonna be sweet. A little bit of mage XP, and we'll be there. Just got myself a superior blood belt here while I was doing my blood belt task. So, putting them on 3 HP and finish them off. Uh, Dark Totem. And. Blood belt head, soul runes. It's not bad, I think. No, I don't think it's superior to get a clue from. I have a few clues in my bank, I should probably do, but. Um, we'll see you guys when I finish this task. So, I got another superior blood build as my slayer task ended, as you can see here. You completed 355 tasks and received 12 points, giving you a total of 1774 if you change your slayer master. And then a superior foe has appeared, so is that good luck? 2 in 1 task and. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing, okay, so. We will see if we can pull something nice from this. If we can, that'd be sweet. I always wanted to get that and the heart actually from a Slayer Master. Um, or from a Slayer Task, rather. Getting it from a superior. Then having to buy it. I know it's... You know, you don't really use magic too, too much. But it'd be good for, like, some things, I suppose. Such as, like, bursting and cracking and stuff like that. So, nothing too good. But another total piece. We'll take it. Just on a side note here, we put on the tasks are actually pretty decent money for like, Slayer, especially since it's super AFK, like, we got so many heads, and then a couple of rune items, I also got 3 ancient shards, so 250k tasks, not bad, not bad, can't complain. So I think that's how I'm going to wrap up the video, uh, before I end it, I really want to say, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, I appreciate it, and if you didn't, then... Sucks to suck, I guess, boys. We'll see you either next week or two weeks from now with Endgame Zerk episode number four. Uh, it's really been a joy making these videos, guys. So I hope you enjoyed and leave a comment on what your favorite part was. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.